I'm going to see how two coconuts work and what is the possibility of finding holes that is empty holes and what is the relation between coconut and the empty holes. Okay. This is one thing that coconut shows the amount of water and from which direction the water flows in. Okay. I'll just ensure is one thing. When let us consider that water is flowing in this direction and this are the flux lines. This are flux lines and this is water. When coconut is handled over this one, due to this lines, okay, flux lines, the coconut doesn't react. But to this water hole, it reacts. The main principle in this water hole is when water is moving you will be getting flux lines okay. due to this flux lines the electricity is produced or in other words when we say that when uh, water is running the electricity will be produced due to which you will be having magnetic lines for example let us consider a rock that is mainly black rock Due to this black rock also, there will be many magnetic poles in it. And when you use Y-shaped rod or L-shaped rod or anything, this magnetic particles which is flowing in this rock will also affect it. Okay. So this magnetic points or you are saying this magnetic small particles which is present in the rock also shows you that presence of water okay. but we have to check that only you have to go through this water line only not through anything okay. so when you are placing a coconut in this area it will stand up okay that is the first coconut we will be saying first coconut and while changing the direction, let us say that this is the direction A. When this direction has changed to this position, that is B. And if you keep another coconut in your hand, it shows us water. Or when you change the direction to C or D, it doesn't show water. Again, when you go to E, it shows as water and to F for anything it doesn't show water. So the point B and point E where water flows will show you as water and other points it won't show as water. Okay. That is why what we are doing means we will go keep on coconut at the bottom and another coconut in our hand. So when we keep this in this position B or E and we, we co have a coconut in our hand, it shows as water and on other points it doesn't show as water. Next point is what about empty holes. Okay. When water flows in it okay, and there is an empty hole above this part, let us say, one is an empty hole and two is an empty hole. On this empty hole, when coconut is shown, the force of this coconut will be very high rather than water. So we have to know what is the force that is occurring in empty holes and what is the force in water. Again, let us come to black rock. If you keep a coconut in black rock also, it works. But if you keep a coconut at the bottom and if you keep a rock 
lot of coconut in your hand and do it, it won't work. You can change it to any direction and see that it does not work. The principle is that in this also there is EM of lines. Okay, there is EM of lines. But this EM of lines will not match this water line when coconut is just kept in the water. That is why it does not work. So I have shown you how to use two coconuts to find empty holes and to find exactly the water. Thank you.